Russell Carrington Wilson was born on November 29, 1988 at the Christ Hospital in Cincinnati and grew up in Richmond, Virginia. His parents are Harrison Benjamin Wilson III, a lawyer, and Tammy Wilson, Nay Turner, a nurse director. He has an older brother, Harrison IV, and a younger sister, Anna. Wilson started playing football with his father and brother at the age of four and played his first organized game for the Tuckahoe Tomahawks youth football team in sixth grade. Wilson's great-great-grandfather was enslaved to a Confederate colonel and was freed after the American Civil War. Wilson's paternal grandfather, Harrison B. Wilson Jr., was a former president of Norfolk State University who played football and basketball at Kentucky State University and his paternal grandmother, Anna W. Wilson, was on the faculty at Jackson State University. Wilson's maternal grandfather was noted painter A. B. Jackson. According to genetic admixture analysis, Wilson is 62% African, 36% European, 1% West Asian, and 1% Central Asian. His European family lineage has been traced back to 524 AD to St. Arnulf of Metz via Charlemagne. Wilson also claims to have some Native American ancestry, although he did not explicitly say which tribe he came from. Wilson's father played football and baseball at Dartmouth and was a wide receiver for the San Diego Chargers preseason squad in 1980. Wilson's brother, Harry, played football and baseball at the University of Richmond, and his sister Anna played basketball at Stanford. Wilson's father died of complications from diabetes on June 9, 2010, at age 55, the day after Wilson was drafted by the Rockies. He is an American football quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers of the National Football League (NFL). He previously played 10 seasons for the Seattle Seahawks and 2 seasons for the Denver Broncos. With the Seahawks, Wilson was named to the Pro Bowl 9 times and helped Seattle win their first Super Bowl championship in Super Bowl 48. He is regarded as one of the greatest dual-threat quarterbacks of all time. Wilson played college football and baseball at NC State from 2008 to 2010 before transferring to Wisconsin in 2011, where he set the single-season FBS record for passer rating and led them to a Big Ten title in the 2012 Rose Bowl. 4. He also played minor league baseball for the Tri-City Dust Devils in 2010 and the Asheville Tourists in 2011 as a second baseman. The Seattle Seahawks selected Wilson in the third round, 75th overall, of the 2012 NFL Draft. He tied Peyton Manning's then-record for most passing touchdowns by a rookie and was named Pepsi NFL Rookie of the Year. Wilson helped lead the Seahawks to two consecutive Super Bowls. He and the Seahawks won Super Bowl 48, but lost Super Bowl 49 the next year when Wilson was intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. He holds the record for most wins by an NFL quarterback through nine seasons and is one of four quarterbacks in NFL history with a career passer rating over 100. In April 2019, Wilson signed a four-year, $140 million contract extension with the Seahawks, making him the highest-paid player in the NFL at the time. In 2020, he became just the third quarterback in NFL history to throw for 30 touchdowns in four consecutive seasons. Wilson was traded to the Denver Broncos in 2022, after which he signed a five-year, $245 million contract extension. His time with the Broncos was marked with disappointment, with the Broncos having the league's worst scoring offense in 2022. Wilson was benched near the end of the 2023 season in a financially motivated move and was released in the offseason, where he signed a one-year deal with the Steelers. Noted for his philanthropy, Wilson was named the Walter Payton Man of the Year in 2020 and was the recipient of the Bart Starr Award in 2022. Wilson is also part owner of the Seattle Sounders FC of Major League Soccer, MLS. After he purchased his minority stake, the Sounders won the 2019 MLS Cup. Wilson attended collegiate school, a preparatory school in Richmond, Virginia. As a junior in 2005, he threw for 3,287 passing yards and 40 passing touchdowns and rushed for 634 rushing yards and 15 rushing touchdowns. He was named an All-District, All-Region, and All-State player. Wilson was twice named the Richmond Times-Dispatch Player of the Year. As a senior, he threw for 3,009 passing yards, 34 passing touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. In addition, he rushed for 1,132 yards and 18 touchdowns. That year, he was named an All-Conference and All-State Player as well as Conference Player of the Year. 
He was featured in Sports Illustrated for his performance in the state championship game win. Wilson also served as his senior class president. During his time in high school, Wilson attended the Manning Passing Academy, a summer football clinic run by multiple NFL MVP winner and eventual Hall of Fame quarterback Peyton Manning. Due to this encounter, Manning recognized Wilson many years later when the latter had flown to Denver to discuss the prospect of getting drafted by the Denver Broncos, where Manning had recently signed. Wilson was also a member of the collegiate school basketball and baseball teams. Russell Wilson stands at a height of 5 feet 11 inches, 1.80 meters. Russell Wilson boasts an estimated net worth of around $165 million. About Russell Wilson personal life. Wilson met his first wife, Ashton Meme, while they were both high school students. They married in January 2012 and divorced in April 2014. Wilson is married to American R&B singer Sierra. They began dating in early 2015 and announced their engagement on March 11, 2016. They were married on July 6, 2016, at Peckforton Castle in Cheshire, England. He has a stepson from her relationship with Future. Their elder daughter was born on April 28, 2017. Their son was born on July 23, 2020. Their second daughter was born on December 11, 2023. While Wilson was playing for the Seahawks, he and Sierra lived in the Seattle suburb of Bellevue, Washington, until selling their home in April 2022 for $36 million. In 2022, the couple purchased a home in Cherry Hills Village, Colorado, for $25 million, setting the record for the most expensive home purchase in the Denver metropolitan area. Wilson also has a house in San Diego. Wilson is a devout Christian. He frequently speaks about his Christian faith on his social media accounts. Wilson and Sierra vowed to be celibate until they married. His net worth as of October 2016 is $120 million. Wilson's younger sister Anna played basketball at Stanford. In September 2021, Wilson and Sierra announced that they were writing a children's book called Why Not You? to help kids pursue their dreams. The book was co-written with Janae Brownwood, published by Random House, and released on March 1, 2022. It received a starred review from the School Library Journal and was a New York Times bestseller. Russell Wilson, the NFL quarterback, is well known for his philanthropic efforts. He founded the Why Not You Foundation in 2014, which is dedicated to empowering and motivating today's youth to make a positive impact in the world. The foundation has been involved in various charitable activities, including raising more than $10 million for pediatric cancer research and opening a tuition-free charter school. Despite some scrutiny over the percentage of the foundation's expenses that go directly to charity, it's important to note that the foundation also raises funds through partnerships that don't appear on its books. For instance, the foundation has partnered with Seattle Children's Hospital and grocery giant Safeway Albertsons to raise millions. Wilson's commitment to philanthropy has been recognized with several honors, including the NFL's Walter Payton Man of the Year Award in 2020, which is given to a player for their commitment to philanthropy and community impact. His efforts extend beyond financial contributions, as he and his wife Sierra have been known for their regular visits to Seattle Children's Hospital and their work with other organizations like Treehouse, Youth Care, Islandwood, and Friends of the Children. Overall, Russell Wilson's philanthropic work has had a significant impact, and his foundation continues to contribute to various causes, aiming to create real and lasting change. About Russell Wilson's professional career On January 16, 2012, Wilson began training for the NFL Scouting Combine at the IMG Madden Football Academy in Bradenton, Florida. Prior to the 2012 NFL Draft, Wilson had been projected by NFL scouts and analysts to be a middle-round pick. In February 2012, former NFL quarterback and director of the IMG Madden Football Academy Chris Weinke said of Wilson, if he was 6-5, to five, he'd probably be the number one pick in the draft. On April 11, 2012, ESPN Monday Night Football analyst John Gruden said, The only issue with Russell Wilson is his height. That might be the reason he's not picked in the first couple rounds. Wilson was selected by the Seattle Seahawks in the third round, 75th overall, of the 2012 NFL Draft, the sixth quarterback selected. The Seahawks received significant criticism for their selections in the draft, and Wilson in particular, as they had just signed free agent Matt Flynn. Two weeks later, 
Wilson signed a four-year, $2.99 million contract with the Seahawks on May 7, 2012. The Seahawks began the 2013 season with the first 4-0 start in franchise history before losing to the Indianapolis Colts in Week 5. The Seahawks then went on a seven-game winning streak, including a 41-20 victory over the Minnesota Vikings where he posted a career-high 151.4 passer rating and culminating in a 34-7 victory over the New Orleans Saints in Week 13 in which Wilson threw three touchdown passes and earned his second NFC Offensive Player of the Week award. Over the next three weeks, the Seahawks suffered divisional losses to the San Francisco 49ers and Arizona Cardinals, the loss to the Cardinals was Wilson's first home loss, but defeated the St. Louis Rams in Week 17 to finish the season with a 13-3 record, the NFC West title, and the number one seed in the playoffs. Wilson finished the season with 26 touchdown passes, 9 interceptions, and a 101.2 passer rating, becoming the first quarterback in the Super Bowl era to post a 100-plus passer rating in each of his first two seasons. Wilson was named to his second Pro Bowl on December 27, 2013. On September 21, 2014, Wilson led the Seahawks on an 80-yard touchdown drive in overtime to defeat the Denver Broncos 26-20 in a Week 3 rematch of the previous season's Super Bowl. On October 6, 2014, against the Washington Redskins, Wilson set a new Monday night football record for rushing yards by a quarterback in a single game with 122. The Seahawks clinched a playoff spot in Week 16 when the Dallas Cowboys defeated the Indianapolis Colts by a score of 42-7, eliminating the Philadelphia Eagles from postseason contention and allowing the Seahawks to clinch their spot before their Sunday night football matchup. On December 21, 2014, Wilson went 20 of 31 and through for a then-career high 339 yards with two touchdown passes and a rushing touchdown against the Arizona Cardinals in a primetime matchup on Sunday Night Football. Wilson also led the offense in gaining 596 yards, setting a franchise record for most yards gained in a game. The Cardinals had the third-best scoring defense heading into Week 16. During the Week 5 loss to the Los Angeles Rams, Wilson left the game after suffering a broken finger in the third quarter. He had surgery to repair the injury on October 8, 2021. On October 15, 2021, he was ruled out for the Week 6 game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. It was the first game he missed in his career, which ended a streak of 149 consecutive games started by an NFL quarterback, which is sixth all-time. He was placed on injured reserve later that same day, ensuring he would miss the next three games at minimum. He was activated off injured reserve November 12th. Wilson finished the season with 3,113 passing yards, 25 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, and an additional 2 rushing touchdowns as the Seahawks finished with a 7-10 record, their first losing record since Wilson's arrival. Wilson earned his ninth Pro Bowl nomination after Tom Brady was unable to participate. He was ranked 61st by his fellow players on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2022. On March 16, 2022, the Seahawks traded Wilson and a fourth-round pick to the Broncos in exchange for two first-round picks, two second-round picks, a fifth-round pick, quarterback Drew Locke, defensive lineman Shelby Harris, and tight end Noah Fant. On March 15, 2024, Wilson signed a one-year deal with the Pittsburgh Steelers for the veterans' minimum, $1.2 million. About Russell Wilson House Russell Wilson, the NFL quarterback, has been in the news for his real estate moves. Here's a summary of the latest updates on his properties. Russell Wilson and his wife Sierra were selling their lakefront Washington estate. The property, which was initially listed for $36 million in April 2022, is now in contract to be sold for $21.25 million. The Bellevue home spans over 11,000 square feet with six bedrooms, five in-suite baths, and a powder room. It includes a private 60-foot yacht slip and a two-story treehouse. After being traded to the Denver Broncos, Wilson purchased a mansion in Colorado for $25 million. This 20,000-square-foot property includes four bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, six fireplaces, a circular staircase, an indoor swimming pool, an indoor basketball court, a gym, a screening room, and more. These properties reflect the success of Russell Wilson and Sierra, both of whom have had illustrious careers in their respective fields. That's all we have for you today. Please go ahead and give us a like, 
share to your friends, leave a comment, and do not forget to subscribe.